In this video, I'll show you how to add a new uploaded Google Drive file links in MS Excel automatically. So the idea here is whenever any team member is going to upload a file into a specific Google Drive folder, we are going to automatically add the file link to MS Excel so that your team can access all the file links directly from one place. And at the same time, you can create a backup in a sorted way. So if you also want to set this automation for yourself, come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Google Drive where I have created a folder with the name all new designs or files and whenever any of my team member is going to upload the important files, I am going to add the link of that file along with the name here into the MS Excel. And to do that, I am going to integrate Google Drive and MS Excel with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software by which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task. And you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box. Now, if you are a new user of Public Connect, you'll have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation. And I am already an existing user of Public Connect. So firstly, I've clicked on sign in. Then I have selected this Public Connect access now among all application. Okay. And this is how I have reached to the dashboard of Public Connect. And after reaching here, firstly, click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow. Okay, so I'm providing the name as sync Google Drive files with MS Excel automatically. Okay, I'm providing this particular name, click on create and then you'll find two boxes. So these are going to be trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, let's say send an email via Gmail application. Okay. And according to our use case, whenever any new file is uploaded into Google Drive application, automatically upload that file, automatically add the link of that file into the MS Excel application. Okay. So this is how you need to always select the application in which you are building an automation. Okay. And in this case, I'm building this automation in between Google Drive application and in between Excel application. Okay. So that is why I am selecting these two application. Okay. I'm going to do the setup of Microsoft later. Firstly, I'm going to connect to Google Drive with a Pabli Connect so that every time any new file is uploaded in a specific folder, the data should be received via Pabli Connect or basically this automation should trigger okay and for the connection you'll have to choose this add a new connection and simply provide the access of your drive in which you are about to upload the files okay I'll go with the existing connections only because I have already made the connections but if you are building this connection for the first time you'll have to go to you'll have to go with the new connections only okay and here you can see since we are connected whatever the files and folders are available inside my drive have started visible here okay so I'm going to select this particular folder that is all all new design and files and here you can see it is actually visible at the top and after clicking on this button you will see how the data of this particular file will be fetched up via Pabli connect and currently there is no data inside my Google Drive so that is why a blank response has been fetched up okay so now I am going to upload a new file right in front of you and you will see how the details will be captured via Pabli connect only okay Alright, so I am uploading this particular PDF file right in front of you and you will see how Pabli Connect will capture these details. Alright, the item is uploading and it has uploaded clicking on this button save and send test request and the name of this particular file is neat revision notes for, for biology and here you can see the response is received already. Let me show you the details one by one. Alright, so here where is the name of that particular file? Here you can see the title is Neat Revision Notes for, for Biology. Okay, let me also show you the link. Okay, link of that file. Okay, web content link. Let me show you that link. Okay, and if I will open this link in front of you, you will see it is actually a downloadable link. Okay, and why it is actually getting downloaded? Because I have specifically changed the permission of this particular folder from anyone with the view. Okay, let me show you. Since I have changed the permission as anyone with the link. So 
so that is why i am now able to access this particular file i am now able to download this particular file okay just in case if i will change this permission and if i will restrict this particular folder i won't be able to download it and i won't be even able to send it to different application or maybe to this microsoft excel okay basically i will be able to send it but people won't be able to open that particular link from the ms excel okay so it was just a tip that you'll have to change the permission of your folder if you want this automation to run okay coming back to public connect and the presence of this data clearly shows that this step of our automation basically connection in between public connect and drive is working absolutely fine and as soon as anyone is going to upload any file here the trigger will uh, check for the new data in every 10 minutes and in every 10 minutes it is going to fetch out that particular file okay moving further here in the action event since i want to add a row to my existing sheet okay so here you can see i have already created a sheet okay i hope everything is visible to you let me keep it as 150 so that the data will be clear to you okay so since i want to add a row to worksheet and in in that row i am going to add the details so that is why i have specifically selected this particular action event okay click on add new connection and again you will have to provide the access of your uh, excel account basically your microsoft 365 account okay again i will go with the existing connections because i have already connected excel with the public connect earlier okay and again make sure if you are building this connection for the first time you will have to go with the new connections only and here whatever the workbooks are available inside my uh, excel have started visible here and again i will be selecting this all file links okay let me search for the same all file links all right here we have that webhook okay and in this webhook in this workbook i have this data as the worksheet okay well it will be selected automatically since i just have a single worksheet only inside this particular workbook all right so here you can see it has selected automatically and i just have two columns here one with the file name another with the file link so that is why only two columns those same columns are visible here okay and i just need to provide the values and this is how this automation is going to take place but i don't need to manually copy this particular data and i uh, saved it okay uh, i'm going to map it and mapping is very simple inside public connect simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop okay so firstly it is asking for the file name so let me search for that file name okay here you can see the original file name was neat revision notes for biology so i have fetched this particular name asking for the file link so i have already shown you that web content link is the link which we are about to send uh, so i have mapped the same and again i will tell you that whatever the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically okay and whatever the details you are going to provide manually this particular data will remain same okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay and this is how this automation is going to take place finally i have clicked on save and send test request and you will see how the details will be also captured via public connect let me first refresh this particular excel sheet and here you can see okay i think i should minimize it so that you can see the data very clearly okay so the file name is this and the file link is this let me even open this particular file and will show you how uh, this file will be uh, is actually downloadable and yes it is the same file okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to upload any file here the links will be same automatically inside our excel account and not only in the excel if you want to save these links into your google sheet into the air table into the notion that can also be pos possible you can visit our pabli channel so that you can get an idea that how you can create this automation okay and to automate this process you just need to create this automation inside pabli connect once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach this particular link the workflow link into my description box just you just need to click on that link and sign up into the public connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation which i have created in front of you into your public connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with public connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video